Hey, I'm not going to bore you with a long promotional video here. I'm sure you've already seen a lot of PLR that falls into one of these three classifications. And we'll just call them the good, the bad, and the butt ugly. Well, today, we're going to raise the bar for the good. Because today, you are going to get a chance to get a hold of a unique training course and software program that you almost certainly have never seen before. Both the training course and the software are going to give your customers the ability to interact with the content and take action of what they are learning. And the software is going to give you the ability to add whatever you like to the content in order to customize it and give it even greater value. Plus, it gives you the ability to add as many promotional links to the content as you like and then create an install file with all of your additions included in less than two minutes. We call the software the Action Taker, and this edition of the software was made specifically for this unique training course. And for a limited time only, you are going to have the opportunity to get this edition at a crazy low discount price. So have a look at the features and benefits of the software below, and be sure to watch the demo video. We believe both you and your customers are going to love the Action Taker software and the training course. Hello there and welcome to this demo video where I'm going to show you how to use the software and then later on how to share the software with your customers. So the first thing we have here is our guide, 7 Success Habits, that we can scroll through here and we can see the entire guide implemented inside of the software. Now what you'll notice as I'm scrolling through here is some pages that I land on, you will see additional options appear at the top. For example, this page for niche awareness, we have a video and a mind map linked to this page. And what I can do from here is I can actually click on this video. That's going to open up the video in a new little tab here where I can watch the video itself right here inside of the software. And when I'm done with it, I can go ahead and close out of it. And that's going to take me right back to the page. Also, we have the mind map. If I click on that, that is going to open up this mind map again right here inside of the software. We can see we have our niche awareness. Over here, we have different topics on each side. I can click on the plus symbol, for example, and that will open up the mind map a little bit more. And of course, it keeps branching out. Now, I can add content to this mind map. So if I click this plus here, we'll see the new topic appears. I can click the plus again, and then I get a new extension of that topic. And I can simply click on that title and change the title as well. So we can customize this mind map if we want to. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And each page is different. So if I scroll past this page, you will see that video and that mind map goes away because it was linked directly to that page with the content on that page. Now myself, let's say that we have our evergreen niches here. What I can do is I can add comments and links to this page. Now on the far right hand side, you'll see that we have this little notes button and we have this links button. So what I can do is I can add notes to this page. That way, when I am browsing through this document, you know, later on, or maybe a customer of mine is browsing through this document when I share the software with them, they will be able to see these notes on this page. So maybe I can use this to pinpoint and highlight a very specific piece of information that I want them to know. Maybe I am mentioning a website and I want to include a link to that website here in my links. I can do that with these two options. Something else we can use is something called annotations and highlights. If we go ahead and click on the annotations here at the top, you will see that we have a bunch of different options here. And for now, we're going to focus on the highlight. For one, I can choose the color I would like to use for my highlight. Then I can simply just click on highlight. Now, when I click on it, we can see it's highlighted and we can see my cursor is a little bit different. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to highlight this lifestyle word here. I'm going to simply highlight it just like so. And when I do, it is now highlighted with the color that I selected up here. And now we can see it is clickable. Well, right now when I click on it, nothing is happening. But now I can add properties to it. So if I right click on that, I can then go to properties. And from here, we can adjust the color if we wanted to. But I can also add comments here. For example, I can say check links for lifestyle niche blogs and then click on OK. Now when someone is scrolling through here, they see this highlight and they mouse over it they will see my comment that I added to check the links for the lifestyle niche blogs. And that's going to tell them 
a reminder to check the links on the right hand side where I can then include a link to the lifestyle niche blogs to give them an example. So you can use these highlights and these annotations as reminders for the different notes and the links that you have for these pages. Not only that, but you will see the ability to add your own documents, spreadsheets, PDFs, videos, diagrams, mind maps, pictures, and Kanbans. And you can add these to any of the pages just like I showed you up above here. So when someone is scrolling through here, they will see whatever videos you have associated with that page and so forth. The next thing I want to show you is the Kanban that we can add here. So I have this page selected. We're going to go ahead and click on the Kanban. We are going to give this a name. We're just going to call this niche ideas and same thing for the description. And then we're going to click on OK. Now for the Kanban, you can think of this like a task management software. We can have these different cards with tasks on them and we have a not started selection in progress on hold or finished and we can use this as I said as a task management so for example let's say I want to add a new card here we need to give this a title label description a checklist and click on OK so for example I'm gonna call mine research niche blogs we're gonna make this one a red one and we can use different colors if we would like to add urgency or things like that and then we have a nice little description that I need to find seven different blogs in the weight loss niche and then click on OK now when I do that we can see it's listed here and as someone is viewing this Kanban they will see this card here they can double click on it to see the details on what they have to do and then once they do it or we can move it around let's say it's in progress right now or let's say that it's on hold for whatever reason or once it's finished we can add it to the finished column over here and we can add as many cards with as many tasks as we would like and as you are scrolling through here you will notice that some pages have documents and some don't if you would like to get a bird's eye view of all the documents inside of the software, all you have to do is simply click on documents here at the top and this will give you a full list of everything included inside of this document. So for the videos, if we click that drop down, we can see all the videos and which pages they are linked to. Same thing for the mind maps and same thing for the Kanban documents. Now the last thing that I would like to show you is how we can take the software and we can share it with our customers with all of the changes that we've made to it. Okay, so let's say we went through here, we added all kinds of different videos, documents, mind maps, things like that. Now what we can do is share this file with someone else. All we have to do is click on the share option here at the top. And once we do that, the software is going to go ahead and bundle this up into a new software file that can easily be installed like any other software file on your customers computer okay so right now we are saving this I'm gonna choose my desktop I need to give this a file name so we're gonna call this my test file you can call this whatever you want as long as everything is lowercase just like you see here and we're gonna see that it saves it as a exe file that is the software file and like I said it can easily be installed on someone's computer just like any other piece of software and all the changes that I made to this PDF all the documents that I included everything is going to be included in this file from there all I have to do is click on save and the software is going to take care of the rest and not only that but it's also going to add a desktop icon on the customers computer so thanks for watching and enjoy the software